Hello and good morning beautiful people. It's me Maxime. Yes, I know we haven't heard from each other in a while. So right now it's currently 11.37 in the morning. I know we woke up late but that means that this video is going to be more interesting because everyone's hungry. What are we going to do today is feeding all of my animals and no, don't expect that I have like 30 or 40 animals like some of these YouTubers have when they make these videos. I have a few pets, you can hear them, everyone's hungry, so let's get to it. So the first monstrosity that we're feeding is my doggo. So yes, the yoga frogo stretch. So Kona is, how old are you? Tell them how old are you? Almost 10 months. She's a French bulldog. And she's an amazing doggo. So Kona doesn't eat wet food in the morning. She eats dry food. And this is her kibble, science plan puppy. So we're gonna scoop it. Let's get in there. And that's, yeah, you're hungry, I know. This is the amount that she eats. And when it's time for dinner, she gets wet food. I'm gonna show you what she eats. Kona. Here you go. So otherwise, this is what Kona eats. It's like a premium food for little pups. It's called Grand, Car Grand Carno. And yeah, it's wheat free and gluten free. Same with that food. Because, you know, Frenchies and certain foods makes the most horrible farts. So you probably heard them already. Yeah, camera shy birds, I know. So these are my two budgies. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I know you don't like camera. I'm just trying to get a shot of you too. So their names are the green one. The green budgie is a female and her name is Atlanta. As for the blue one, the one that is a blabbermouth and everything and the fluffy one, that's Aramis. So they are A and A, Aramis and Atlanta. So this is the food that Aramis and Atlanta eat. It's a premium food. It has so much nutrition, like an, it contains fruits, it contains chia seeds, oyster shells, it's like perfect for them. Also, they're very attracted to the green part of this food and they would go crazy over it. So this is like where I put their food and they have that for like two three days okay let's pour in the food so i will show you how it looks like there this is how it looks like they will be eating this in their cage let's go let's go let's go they're such blabber molds, it's crazy okay so this is where we put the food that they're gonna go eat there and there fresh water is already here so let's move on to the next oh yeah i forgot the salad i soaked it with water they sometimes nibble on it but most of the time they just throw it on the ground i scatter it here so they can eat i forgot to mention the age they're around a year old um yeah and as you can see, the male is a blabbermouth and like he's currently like having the little mohawk on. You want to dance for us? He's a dancer. He would dance on everything. So meet my fishes. These are my fishes. Um, in the new tank, it's upgraded, freshly clean. Okay, so let's go through the, like, um, how do you call it? the household of this <laughs> aquarium so you see the giant one that's bean he is so far the biggest goldfish i have ever seen um he's the leader of the pack he is almost three years old so you can see the giant <laughs> like, like he's gigantic towards the other uh compared to other goldfish so the second largest thank you for stopping i appreciate it the second largest goldfish is katara the third largest the white one you can see it um that's soka 
Yeah, their names are from The Last Airbender. Um, that's how Bean looked like when he came. Around like that size, but white. Look at him now. Uh, Katara and Sokka are around uh, a year and a half. Okay, so the two small goddess, this one is Ferhat. And the other, yes you, the one who is terrified, that's Asli. And the angelfish, that's Priscilla. Also, somewhere, oh, there you are. Look, I hope you can see it because the lights are attracting. We have two fishes. I have no idea how it's called in English right now, but I call them cleaner fishes or vacuum fishes because they clean everything they see. The big one there, that's Haram. I don't know where Hara is. Oh, in the bottom, you can see her probably be move your biggest tail. They're cleaning. So what they're gonna eat? This is the food that they eat. Um, they eat around two times, three times a day. Yes, Priscilla, show your beauty. Look how beautiful they are. So they haven't had their breakfast yet. They're gonna come up here and go nuts up. So I don't give them too much because this water can dirty so quickly. Because uh, they are poopers, they all poop too much. So I grab a pinch of their food, it's flakes. There we go, I scatter it all over so that everyone gets the same amount of food. What do they eat? It's just a mixture of nutrition, nutritional stuff, and of course, these fish don't eat meat, so it's vegetarian. Up next, 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 we have the gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous beta. His name is Jumanji. I hope you can see him. He's waving towards us. He's waiting for his food, actually. Um, Jumanji is actually with me only for a few months. Um, so, yeah, I think two months, not sure. This is what Jumanji eats. I hope you can see it. Um, he is a meat-eating fish, so this contains meaty stuff and it's very red they're attracted to red food so i grab a pinch and i put it in and he's gonna eat right away here we go to my most favorite yeah you're my favorite i said that this is my bearded dragon kimba kimba say hi she's like my ultimate pet kiss yeah good girl so she is a year and how many months? Tell them when it's your birthday. It's on 31st of October. She's a Halloween dragon, so beware. Um, what she eats, um, I please no judgment. Um, she doesn't eat crickets anymore because she had a severe reaction to it once and I'm afraid to feed, it, to feed them to her. So she eats super worms uh, and she eats tons and tons of watermelon. Um, what else? You eat uh, salads. Yeah, she loves spinach, but we don't have spinach right now. Um, she loves everything, actually. She's. I can see that she's hungry. She's impatient. So let's feed. Uh, so it's important when you feed your beer this to give them calcium. She takes it every day. Um, this is where I keep the super worms. Um, so let's see if she's even hungry. I think she is. So I dip it in the calcium and then I just put it in front of her and she will eat it. If she's very hungry, she's gonna go for it right away. Here you go, little miss. Yay! Someone's very hungry. So make sure to not feed them too many of these if you have a beardy because they are very fatty. But I'm. she didn't eat yesterday. I mean, she ate, but not like any worms, so she can get a bit more today. She absolutely loves Zophobas. I also take care of the food that my pets eat, so you can see how meaty they are. Um, they're juicy. Uh, yeah, you're so hungry, right? Um, I have them in separate. You can see that their crickets are in there. So this is where the Zophobas are. Um, I keep them in here and give them fresh food and I also give them water uh, in a form of a gel um, so that they remain fa fatty and delicious for the pets. 
there we go she ate so well i love it when i see her like eat well she also watches like um the fish all the time when we eat so as for her vegetables and fruit currently i don't have a spinach on me so she eats some watermelon don't worry she doesn't eat watermelon every day because it's sugary but we are the dragon stand not to drink a lot so watermelon is perfect for them to hydrate you can see that like she's not dehydrated her skin is so good like so she is hand feed um hand fat how do i say it <laughs> i'm sorry so we're gonna hand feed her yeah you love watermelon right watermelon is one of her favorites probably because it's a bit cool um she also loves it that it's hydrating her and maybe a little bit of sweetness is also what she likes um kimba doesn't remain like in her terrarium all day she is in the terrarium only in the morning and then since it's hot she goes to her favorite absolute favorite basking spot which is um downstairs in the living room can you turn a little bit yeah thank you sweetheart uh, so what i was saying she has a basking spot downstairs uh, my dad made it for her so she has the ultimate sunlight she has her own pool outside um, and I bought, bought her a floaty so she floats inside and just enjoys the sun uh, the pool is small like a kiddie pool don't worry um, and when it's time to nap she has a little basket where she sleeps inside right you can see the little bruises like she rubbed herself on something and yeah I'm talking about you you beautiful little baby this is the salad that she doesn't like at all um, as for the beardies you know they have to eat their greens so she doesn't eat them every day she ate them yesterday so she probably won't eat them today oh will you good girl good girl yeah just a little bit it's important for them to eat their greens she used to love greens as a baby but now as a juvie or is she an adult already? I don't know. She doesn't like them. I mean, the only greens that she absolutely loves... Oh, you're poking yourself in your eye. Um, the greens that she absolutely loves is spinach. So this is Sophia. Um, she is my new pet. Got her like a few days ago. Five days ago, maybe. Yes. Oh, yeah. This is the sword. She's a Mexican red knee tarantula. Um, Bra Brachypelma smithy, I hope I read that right. Uh, she already has her food in. Um, she didn't touch it yet, she's exploring. This is her new enclosure. Oh, look at that cricket. As for the water, it's here. She's gonna hide in there. So she's exploring. She's currently exploring. So that's it. Thank you very much for joining me um, with feeding of my oh, little family. You gonna say hi to the camera? She took her bath, she pooped, and now we're gonna go bask and enjoy our day. Thank you for uh, watching the video, for coming to visit my profile after a long, long time, and have a nice day. Bye, say bye bye.